Welcome back first grade friends. I'm excited to do some math with you today. Let's get going. So here's last week's problem. It says Rosa had 14 shells. She gave three of the shells to her sister and four of the shells to her brother. How many shells did Rosa have left? Show your work. So she had 14, so we're going to make 14 X's. Help me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's a couple ways you can solve this. We're gonna solve it. First, she gave three away. So I'm gonna circle three. She gave three of her shells to her sister and four of her shells to her brother. So I'm gonna circle four more. So I will circle that one. One, two, three, four. And then the question was, how many shells did Rosa have left? Show your work. So we did 14 minus 3 equals, so we did 14 minus 3, we first circled 3, so that left us with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So then she had 11 shells, and we she gave 4 of the shells to her brother. So we did 11 minus 4 equals, because they gave some away, so we're taking away. So 11 minus 4, which leaves us with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. She had, so Rosa had 7 shells left. I'm going to circle the seven. Another way you could have thought of this, friends, was you knew she gave three and four away, so you could have done three plus four, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. And then if we have our 14, so let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now I know I need to take away 7. So I'm going to go and circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She has seven shells left. So fourteen minus seven equals seven. This week's learning target is I can represent. You're gonna do picture or image. Ready? Represent. Picture or image. Nice job. Subtraction and addition word problems using drawings. So this week we're doing both addition and subtraction word problems. We are back with Molly and Ollie. Remember, Molly is represented with an M and Ollie is represented with an O. Ollie caught 12 fish. Molly caught 9 fish. How many more fish did Ollie catch than Molly? Oh, this is one of those hard ones. Okay, so Ollie caught, so I'm going to do an O for Ollie. He caught 12 fish. So one, count with me, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. 
And then Molly, which I'm going to use an M for Molly. Molly caught nine fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's two different ways we can figure this out. The first, so we know he, Ollie caught 12 and Molly caught 9. So we can circle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now I'm going to count to double check that I circle 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. So we can circle how many Molly has and how many Ollie has and see how many more Ollie has than Molly. He has three more. One, two, three. So then my subtraction problem would be 12 minus 9 equals three. The other way we could have done it is Molly has nine. She has nine plus a number equals 12. So we know Molly has nine and then we would try to figure out how many more Ollie has. So we would go nine, 10, 11, 12. Nine plus 3, 1, 2, 3, equals 12. So either way is correct. Nice job getting that hard one done and out of the way. Remember friends, if you need to, you can pause the video and then hit play when you're ready to move on. Our next problem, Molly saw 13 fish, but 10 of them swam away. How many fish were left? So she saw 13, so I'm gonna draw 13 fish Help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And if we make our ten frame, we can see there's ten and three more. That makes thirteen. So Molly saw thirteen fish, but ten of them swam away. So now we're going to circle 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I'm going to count to make sure I circled 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many fish were left? So then we're going to count. One, two, three. There are three left. So we have 13 minus 10 equals 3. So Molly, or there were three fish left. Three fish left. Okay, our next story problem. There were 10 penguins on the top ledge and four penguins on the bottom ledge. How many in all? So first we have 10 penguins. Help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There were 10 penguins on the top ledge and four penguins. One, two, three, four on the bottom ledge. How many in all? So I want to know how many there are. So I know that's going to be addition. So I'm going to go 10 plus one, two, three, four, 10 plus four equals, and I'm going to go 10 
11, 12, 13, 14, 14 in all. Nice job. Now for our second one. It says, there are 10 penguins on the top ledge and 8 penguins on the bottom ledge. How many in all? It says, how many in all again? So I know it's going to be addition again. So we're going to first do our 10 penguins. Help me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 penguins on the top ledge and 8 penguins on the bottom. Help me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have 10 plus 8 equals, we're going to go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 10 plus 8 equals 18. 18 in all. For this week's activity, you're going to solve two story problems. And you want to show your work. You also want to have an equation and an answer. So it says, for each story problem below, read the problem and look at the picture so the picture is going to help you. Use numbers, pictures, I'm going to say and words to help solve the problem. Write the answer on the line. So this is the line it's talking about. There were 12 penguins on the ice. Some of them jumped into the water. Now there were only eight penguins on the ice. How many penguins jumped into the water? Remember, you can pause the video right now and work on it, or you can keep listening and then do it at the end. So you're going to use your X's, and then you're going to write your equation, and you're going to write your answer right here. Then the next one. There were some penguins hiding behind the hill. Then four of them ran out and jumped into the water. Now there were only ten penguins left hiding behind the hill. How many were there to start? Ooh, that's kind of a tricky one. So this one's to know how many penguins there were behind the hill before four of them ran out and jumped into the water. Then you're going to, so you're going to use your X's, you're going to write your equation, and you're going to put your answer here. Thank you so much for doing these math problems with me, friends. Look forward to seeing you next week. Bye!